So today we're testing out how steep of an incline the IMO RMI 422 can handle. Uh, this is a, a really steep hill. Based on our, our measurements, it's, it's too steep uh, <laughs> for, the, uh, for the limits of the unit. And we're testing it out today. So the IMO has a, a slope sensor on it. So it will sense once it's too steep. And we'll probably see it here once as it's working its way up at this, uh, there, there it uh, hit the too steep sensor. So you can kind of see the slope we're on. Also the grass is really patchy and bumpy. So that, that's lifting up the IMO and making it sense like it's on a higher incline also. So we're gonna watch this one as the lawn gets seeded out better and, and more, more even with grass. And I, I think that's gonna help it get up higher to the top. You know, this patch here looks, looks really nice with grass. When you get further, further up into it, you can see a lot of a lot of patches. And what's happening is this grass is so so solid and stiff uh, when the when the IMO gets into some of these dips, it catches the front here, and uh, the hood is the front hood of the IMO is thinking that that's an object, so it's hitting it, stopping and turning around, or it's causing it to do a little wheelie, and then uh, the incline's too high turns around and goes a different direction. We'll watch it again here. Uh, there's a couple things we can do to try to help with this. There, there you see all popped up and, and just got a little too high. Here's a, here's a low spot it was sitting in right here. And then it just gets up, starts to hit some of the stiffer grass. It's been really dry. Uh, so back to some solutions we can do here. There's a front weighted wheel kit. Let me just stop the IMO here for a second. I'll lift her up. So here's the, the two wheels. They make a, a weighted wheel option to add some weight to the front to keep it down more from popping up. Let's see how it does here once. It's got some pretty bumpy spots to do. Go, buddy. Oh, almost. <laughs> so you can see again that the weighted front wheels will help that. Uh, we can also go with a, a spiked wheel option. Replace those wheels with uh, spikier wheels to give it some more traction. So we're going to do that with this machine, put both those options on and, and see how that impacts it. Uh, but for now, at least you got an idea. You know, if you really pan out here and see how steep of a hill this is, we're, we're pushing it probably a little bit past its, its limits here. Uh, and I can just go and show you quick. I'm going to re restart this guy while it's running again. We're going to go take a quick look at the docking station. So for this install, we've got a gate with a corridor to where the docking station is going to go. <clears throat> so here's our gate. And then we have everything else is trenched. So the path goes, we actually put it underneath the slide. <laughs> so it comes underneath the slide here. And then up to the docking station at the house. So if I pan out. And get a shot from this side you can kind of see the path there so this this has been a really good good test just to understand the limitations of the device because one of the things we look at when when we are assessing a property to install on is we want clients to be satisfied and we want to make them aware be very transparent about uh, how awesome these things can be but also you know the limitations that are out there right now they can't do everything. Uh, they're 
it's not a perfect solution. And it's just so important to be aware of that when you're, when you're choosing a robotic motor.